Greetings my fellow Brick fans, welcome back to my channel. Um, space, the final frontier. No, <laughs> this ain't going to be a Star Trek video, although would be really cool. I uh, haven't got any uh, Star Trek sets yet, um, but maybe in the future. Anyways, exploring space, the dream of many, just a few get to uh, live that dream. Um, of course, I was one of those who dreamt as a kid of flying out to the stars. Yeah, didn't really happen. Uh, but uh, there are some ways to experience a little bit of it anyways. For example, uh, you can have a Saturn V or the moon lander. Or, uh, yep. Yeah, hidden behind the black drone set or the ISS and some other stuff. But outer space is a rather dangerous and pretty hostile spa uh, space, <laughs> um, so you need the right equipment. And uh, that's for a non-astronaut, I guess, rather hard to get. Unless you're thinking about bricks, then you can have it, you can have it all. <laughs> and even a complete spacesuit. Uh, well, somewhat complete. Uh, <laughs> this fantastic, uh, yeah, nearly finished uh, astronaut uh, suit was a gift from my uh, fantastic wife. Thanks, Julia. Uh, really awesome. And yeah, it's from a Chinese manufacturer. To be honest, I can't really tell you the brand because it comes in a few variations and uh, also uh, different printing and naming on it. Uh, I think Makeup Pop and this electronic board here is nearly on everything, but yeah, here for example you can read uh, Astronaut of Project Breaking Dawn. When you Google Project Breaking Dawn, you find this set in the various variations. I have no idea. Is it based on movie series or something? I have no idea. You know nothing. But I think it's going to be a really fantastic set. Uh, one half, the completely closed suit, the other side, the internal uh, things, which happen to be inside the suit to keep uh, the person alive which has to float in outer space to, for example, uh, repair stuff on the ISS. And yeah, um, as I said, there are some variations available. You can have it in this version with the colorful interior. Then there's one which is nearly completely white and just some of those accents are in golden. Looks also really cool, but this looks a bit more on the realistic technical side, so I think that's the way better one. And on the shoulders there are printed tiles, which I believe have different designs and also different colors. I think I've seen a video where one of those was, for example, red with a CN on it. So I guess basically a Chinese uh, spacesuit, but I think there will be not much difference in uh, non-astronaut will really notice as far as it's even detailable <laughs> in that uh, scale and yeah as far as I know only prints just print no stickers yeah <laughs> fantastic that's a huge plus and the I think two videos I've seen about it they were also happy with how it was to be built so I guess the bricks are okay, and yeah, no, I would say. Did I bevel enough again? Yeah, I think I did. So, let's have a look inside the box. There's a little surprise inside, so let's open it. So, here's what's inside the box. Um, what I thought, the big surprise inside, um, 
at least in one video where I saw the unboxing, there were two smaller boxes inside to keep everything in place. Here that wasn't the case, but don't really care about that. Uh, what I forgot to show you, the way side, also half open, really cool. Um, yeah, so nice box design. And now for the uh, pieces, lots of bags. Um, numbered from one to four each section has a lot of bags for itself and the wonderful mirror finished visor separately picked fantastic that's really great how you deal with such delicate pieces um thinking of the windscreen Sorry, buddy. Uh, that's how you do it. Then we get a brick separator. The rather typically orange, but yeah, different shape, of course. Now let's just have a quick look inside the manual, just like the box. Front view and the rear view. Really cool. So inside there, yeah. First we learn how to use the brick separator, then instructions pretty much like we used to. Not too many pieces in each step, that's why it's rather thick. It has about 900 pieces, so that's rather Lego-like. And yeah, with those typical sub-builds and then we we'll put them. Shouldn't be much of a marvel, except for the huge amount of white we have to face. <laughs> but I think it will be still easier to build than a um, lot of black, like the Batmobile, for example. Fantastic build, but your eyes get pretty tired with just one color. All, all that white stuff uh, may also be a bit heavy on the eyes. So, and now I would say Let's just get the pieces out of the bags with number one and then we'll go from there. So, here are the pieces from bags with number one. The small stuff again in my trusty little black plastic tray, uh, blades, bricks in various shapes, arches, panels, uh, those soft hoses, you know, especially from the older space sets, and oops, the piece where I put them in is extra, so they are not connected yet. Everything is separate, also those levers, the handle is extra and the socket is somewhere inside. Then a specialty, the magnifying glass without the glass, <laughs> really cool. And those pieces, we already know the tabs, uh, but Trans light blue and trans red. Never seen them before in that color. Also really cool. And here some of the prints already. Really nice. One was a bit dirty, but just a few swipes across it and it was okay. So just some residue, I guess, from the printing process or something. So really nice print. Really cool. And yeah, I would say, uh, yeah, the feel of the pieces, yeah, absolutely okay. Wouldn't notice much difference to anything else. Uh, the studs feel maybe a bit rounder and softer, but that could be also just because there's no uh, embossed uh, insignia of the manufacturer. So. It could be the simple reason for that. 
anything on the bottom of the numbers 522-02 don't know maybe someone knows anything about that but I don't and so I think I would just start building my very own astronaut suit yeah Here we are with the result from bx number one, the backpack with yeah, the main core <laughs> looks really cool so far. Interesting building techniques to switch the building directions. Also, sadly, there's none of them left, but there are some of those. Uh, both sided plates they have starts on both sides so you can build in both directions really cool um, two things there are light light bluish gray parts like this quarter round and yeah um, in the instructions you can somewhat see it but if there's no light bluish gray next to it, it's a bit hard and you could get the wrong piece like I did in one spot somewhere down here. Yeah. For example, you can see the shading somewhat with white. Then the next plate here is the, the light, light gray <laughs> and then the standard light gray. Um, that's a bit difficult and here I guess we will need those holes later on to put something into but those are headlight bricks turned around but the start on headlight bricks isn't really flush like a one by one brick and so yes, maybe you can see it a bit here it's curved out so there's quite some tension on the starts and the plates and stuff uh, securing uh, this connection so mm, may not be the best don't know what will go inside there we'll see later but maybe um, one by one technic bricks would have done the job but we'll see later on so far looks really cool <laughs> half complete half to look into really nice and yeah, piece quality really nice. Um, all those gaps are from the uh, building techniques to get all the sides right, of course. And yeah, on some points it feels like there is a bit of tension, but yeah, I think it should hold everything uh, good enough. Yeah. So and now. This took quite long, uh, way longer than I expected. Uh, so I'll now continue with BX number two, and then I think I'll end this video. And yeah, the rest will be a follow-up video. 
Uh, Bakes number two, as far as I can see the instructions, will be the legs. So after that, our uh, main car should be able to stand on its own, at least. So let's continue. So here are the pieces of BX number two for the legs. Yes, again, lots of small stuff, blades and bricks, and those uh, slope bricks, of course, a lot of. Uh, then, specialty, uh, I think I've seen something like that in a mega set before. It's like a G slope, a 1x2 with a 1x2 blade attached. Uh, don't know, a 2x2 two two blade with a half height uh, G slope, whatever. Then those rounded slope bricks or whatever in trans light blue. Haven't seen it in that color before. Then those are the pieces I told you before. With Starts on both uh, sides. Finally, uh, most other manufacturers have pieces like that, um, except for Lego. Originally, Lego had a pet, uh, patent for this. Never used it. Don't know why. They seemingly enjoy more complicated uh, techniques to change the direction when they could go the easy way. But yeah, whatever. Then nice shiny gold. It's really a fantastic gold. And they also told you and tried to show you before the third shade of grey here. Uh, the dark bluish grey, light bluish grey and the light light bluish grey. Yeah, so that's a bit hard to get in the instructions, but this time it could be easier. So I don't think there's one of those uh, ingot pieces uh, in light bluish grey, just in white, I guess, as far as you can see. So this time should be no problem. Yeah, and now let's we'll see. Let's build some legs for a spacesuit. So, and here are the finished legs. Uh, legs number two are not completely finished yet, but I thought I'll show you those cool uh, built legs first. A really uh, amazing <laughs> closed one, of course. Nice, just white all around, some stripes, some markings. Nice <laughs> sneakers. <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, pretty quick build. A bit longer it takes with all the interior, everything that's going on inside the suit. The legs are especially cool, I have to say. Really fantastic. Yeah, I uh, don't know what all this stuff is and what it should represent, but looks really amazing. Now, uh, only thing left to do, 
connect the legs to the core and then some hoses uh, have to be attached and then leg number two is finished. So let's just put it together. So, and here's the first big part of the spacesuit. <laughs> really cool. The open side with all the interior looks just fantastic. And then the side we know from movies and TV. <laughs> Just the white one and also the backpack, the air tanks and all the stuff then going on hidden here. Really cool. And although it gets a stand at the end, the complete suit is also able to stand on its own. The ball joints here are very tight, so posing is a bit difficult. But yeah, it does stand pretty well. <laughs> yeah, and okay, that's it for this video. I think I need a break, and maybe you too. Uh, and yeah, only thing still noticeable is here this section. Um, yeah, we'll see if something comes on here, but I don't think so. So here to. Uh, to a one by one technique brick with the holes would have done the job. I don't think it's really that important that those holes are uh, square. I think we would have lived well with round ones, but okay, maybe something will be attached later on, don't know. But yeah, really cool. <laughs> nice, all that detailed work. Huh? <laughs> Really fantastic. Thanks again, Julia, for this awesome gift. Really enjoy it. It's a cool build and will go well with Lunar Lander, uh, Saturn V and the ISS back there once that's built. And later on there will be something big and white. Uh, what do they call it? Flying brick? <laughs> because it's really fantastic to land as far as I've heard. So, yeah. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see the rest of this fantastic suit being built, really easy. Just subscribe to my channel. Would be really cool. And maybe you want to be informed as soon as I continue building. <clears throat> what could you do then? Easy. Just hit the bell button. Ding ding. And YouTube should let you know whenever something new happens. Yeah. So, off to a break. See you in the next one. Bye bye.